Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday 138. A paradigm shift is the alternative. Question. Everything, it seems, personally and globally, is undergoing a major breakdown. The money systems, the health system, the school system, governments, corporations, so many more areas in life. They're all breaking down. Our relationship with each aspect of reality is changing fast. Everything that seems stable and secure to support trust in our community and governments is now confusing and shattering our beliefs. What should we focus on during these transformative times? Okay. Well, you know, we need a paradigm shift. You know, where have we been? You know, why is everything falling apart? We need to take, you know, take hold of this ourselves. We cannot, we can no longer depend on these external systems. And we have this issue with um, otherness. We think that, well, if I give my power over, they will serve us in, in return. You know, if I give my power over to the governments and I, you know, this and that, and the education system, the medical system, um, the government, um, you know, just to, it, this, we have a, a, an innate sense of just passing our sense of responsibility uh, outside of us. And that is not healthy. We have to be 100% responsible for our own experience and the life that we live. And just slowly, it's been creeping in. We've been giving our power away. So the, the paradigm shift is to, to think locally, to think that, well, let me, work, let me work with my neighbor. Let me interact with my neighbor. Um, let me see who's in my local community and let's see if we can work something out together. This whole thing about, um, you know, giving our power over to someone else, and it's just, it's a, it's a very human thing, but it becomes more divine when you take your power back and uh, you, you decide how to create the community you want. Why not create the alternative medical system you want? Why not create the alternative education system you want? Why not create a, 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 you know, your own local governing system that you want to have? Why not create a huge picture in your head about how you want to live your life in a community? We have that power, but we have to start thinking that we're sovereign. We're, we're, we're beings that have natural rights and that our rights um, are ours. And then we have the we can choose who's going to govern us. Not that that when when we give our power over, there's something about that when we give our power over, it's like here it is, all the power is right here, and then we say here here have some of my choices. Take here take some of my responsibilities. You keep it over there. I trust you. You you go and do it. And then what happens is. When that, that place that we put our trust in or that we gave our power to, that we gave our money to, that we gave our hopes and expectations to, well, they're egos. They're ego entities. They're just going to simply like get filled up with all this energy that, and power that we gave them. And what are they going to do? They're going to turn around and use it against us. Like... Hello, we got to wake up. We should never do that. We have to be more included. We have to be more engaged in our local communities. Get more engaged in our schooling system. It doesn't have to be a global system. Where is that idea coming from? Like, maybe we need to reduce um, and get smaller, not bigger. Get smaller and more quality in the way we relate to each other. Um, we need to know who our neighbors are and, and raise consciousness 
with the people next to us in our community. Get excited about getting to know them and include the elders, include the children in these decision makings. Um, and the money system, like all our money is going to, you know, these banks and these alter, these, these money, the banksters. And what, what's wrong with having um, an exchange between two people? Why do we need to use their money? What's wrong with learning in our school system the things that are useful in our life? Like how to relate to people. Um, um, uh, how to have a relationship in, in a couple dynamic. How to relate in a family. Why not learn, you know, non nonviolent communications for our community, and 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 base our community on on that type of c communications. Um, the medical system. Why do we have to have like a global? Why not have smaller, you know, doctors and nurses and alternative care practitioners, you know, in a local system where we can access them. And, and, and that everyone is, is taken care of. Why do we need these big systems? Like there is a, we need to shift, but we also need to come together and uh, think, put our own thinking caps on. And, and the children, let, we need more inventors. We need thinkers, independent thinkers. We need more artists, um, leaders. Uh, that can come from us. So it's not them. It's us. We have to think me, us, or what's, what's locally around here and, and pull that, pull the energy together and, and get excited, get passionate. Say, hey, I want to know more about you in my community. Hey, I want to share something. I want to gift something and feel the heart in our giving. Instead of, is everything have, does everything have to come through money? Like, what about sharing and loving and compassion? And I'm, I'm, I feel wealthy because I have so much to give, so much energy, so much talent, so much um, artistic skills. I have so many things that I know how to do. Why not be able to give that? And, and also learn how to receive from others. Most of us are giving, 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 or working, working, working. Maybe we can take time off and receive and get the fulfillment that we want because what do we really want? We want fulfillment with each other. And fulfillment, as we know, is not through <clears throat> getting big degrees. It's not through becoming a doctor or a lawyer and getting lots of money, um, it's through connecting with people. It's sharing intimacies with each other through beautiful communications, listening and articulating what's really going on inside. This is what fulfills us in life. So the, all, the paradigm shift is to think more about how to create a, a fulfilling life within a smaller community base. Uh, we need local currency, uh, local education, more farming, more foresty, uh, children going out into the forest, um, more alternative uh, medication, you know, um, and, and preventative uh, health. We need to think more like that, eating healthy. There's so much more. A paradigm shift is really the alternative to what we're experiencing as everything is collapsing now in our, in our society, in our world. And that, there's something there to, to watch for. Why is it collapsing? Because it was not sustainable. What's sustainable? If we look into our history and our past, Sustainable was those smaller communities who had to, they forced, forced you could say, but they, they decided to work with what they've got and made it work. So there's so much more to share and I'm really, really passionate about community 
So if you ever feel like you want to talk more about these alternative ways, um, give me a shout. Until then, see you in next Wisdom Wednesday. Bye for now.